Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm Nurse Joy, and I'll be taking care of you and your wonderful little friends today. Anything you need, just let me know. Would you like to rest your Pokemon today, or did you just come in to make use of the general store? I see. Uh, would I be able to take a look? Hmm, they all look pretty beaten up, and so do you, in fact. And the best thing would be rest. How about I treat you to the deluxe package today? Both you and your Pokemon can stay overnight and fully recover. Well, it's not something we always offer, but you certainly seem like you could use it. Excellent. Let me get things set up. If you would care to give me your first Pokeball. Okay, let's see. Oh, Whooper. He's got little bruises all over him. A fight, eh? Let's have a look. I'm just going to put on some gloves, okay? There we go. Not only for hygiene, but whoopers have a layer of acidic slime they coat themselves with for defense, and you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. Let's have a look. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm just having a look. Hmm. I think a couple of potions should fix that right up, but we will also prepare a little resting chamber. You know, whoopers are naturally used to sleeping in cold and muddy lake beds, so they prefer to rest in similar conditions. We have specific resting beds for Pokemon that prefer those conditions, whooper and a few others included. We try to cater to a Pokemon's individual needs as much as we can here, and I think you'll really see the difference in the morning. You should consider getting specialized resting places of your own for your Pokemon, if you truly want them to perform the best they can. Let's just put him away. <laughs> he looks so comfy. Let me take these gloves off. We don't want to get that acid anywhere else. And when you're ready, if you could hand me your next Pokeball. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Prinplup. I presume this was your starter Pokemon. <laughs> Good choice. They tend to be quite solitary Pokemon in the wild, but this one seems to have formed quite a strong bond with you. I can tell you now. Let's see, little Primplup. Oh, one of its flippers has a little cut. I'll have to use some special ointment on that. Give me a moment. Oh, that should speed up the healing process wonderfully. Uh, 
Now then, let me have a look through our chambers and find one that would be best suited to your little primplup. I think this one will do. Sadly, nothing quite so perfect as your whoopers, but it will be uh, better than a pokeball at least. <laughs> there we are. We'll just store you away there. There we are. If we just store you away there, it'll be all right, little buddy. You'll see your trainer again in the morning. Very attached. I suppose you two have been together the longest. It does make sense. But it's a good sign. Me and my sisters, of course, are very practiced in forming strong bonds with our Pokemon. Since we own so many Happenies that have to evolve into Chanseys or even Blissies to do their jobs, and that requires a high level of affection and trust between Pokemon and Trainer. We've developed many techniques. If you'd like to hear me, I'd always be happy to write up something or give you some sort of training. Mm-hmm. There's definitely lots of ways to increase your bonds with your Pokemon. Now, Primplup is away and safe. If I could have your next Pokeball. Oh, a Buizel. Goodness me, you seem to have quite a water-type orientated team. Be careful when you come across any grass-type Pokemon or trainers. But I'm sure you already knew that. I believe Eterner City currently houses a rather formidable grass-type gym leader. Be cautious if you head that way. Oh, let's have a look at little Buizel. Oh, his neck. Mm, Buizels have inflatable neck pouches that in the wild they used to drift along the surface of lakes and such. But it seems Weasels is almost punctured. Let me see if I have any little plasters I can cover up that little puncture with. Oh, don't worry. It will heal quite easily. The plaster is just to allow your weasel to inflate his neck while it's still healing. After all, they often prefer to sleep floating on the water, and while we do have a container that allows your buizel to do this, it would of course need its neck inflation functioning properly. I thought it would be more comfortable. Let's just take this plaster, and there we go. <sighs> Inflated already. <laughs> That's a sign of a happy Pokemon. Now then, let me bring up our special water tank. Here it is. I'll summon that. And Weasel can float happily through the night and heal fully. They're all going to be glowing when they come out, trust me. Now, that should be half of your Pokemon team taken care of. Could I have the next Pokeball? Oh, a Drifloon. A very cute Pokemon. And a flying type will help you balance out the weakness to grass. Uh, I'm sure you've heard the rumors about the wild Drifloon, but needless to say, keep an eye on this one when there are children nearby. Let me have a little look. Yes, just a few little surface scratches. 
Drifloon seems to have fared a little better than the others. Were you against Grass-type by any chance? Hmm, tricky. Well, that's all right. Nothing I can't fix. Now then, Drifloon, let's find you a nice cloudy environment. There we are. Head on in there, little one, and rest up properly. <laughs> you already know what I'm going to say. If you'd be so kind. Let's open up this Pokeball. A lovely little happeny. You know that all happeny are female, right? Well, I of course know a lot about this one. I have a chancy of my own after all. Make sure to give her a lot of love and affection so that she can properly evolve, okay? Do you know about Chansey and Blissey's ex? All I'm saying is, they either make a pretty penny on the market, or a mean omelet. Of course, most of our eggs are used for healing purposes at the Pokemon Center. But since you are just a trainer, the eggs can come in quite handy in a number of ways. Let's have a look at you, little happiny. Oh, darling, your wings are frayed. Hmm. I can sort that out easily enough, and I have the perfect environment for you. We're very used to housing happenies. In fact, I can put you in with some of the other happenies we have here. They're quite a social Pokemon, despite being rare in the wild these days. <laughs> there we are. Go and have fun. You've gone up in my estimations. Happiny is a wonderful Pokemon, and a great friend. Well then, that just leaves the last Pokeball. Ah, a Leafeon. Now I don't see many of these about. I've heard that Eevee is a remarkable Pokemon that can evolve into all kinds of different things. I suppose if the rumors about the Moss Rock and Eterna Forest are true, you must have already been there. Did you manage to defeat the gym leader with this team? <laughs> well, I have to hand it to you. That's quite a feat. Now, darling Leafeon, a few little bruises, but mostly seems unharmed. You'll be okay, won't you, darling? A regular potion should do. And a nice little mossy forest. <laughs> seems the right environment. Here we are. In you go. Rest well, my lovely. Well, now that your team is taken care of, let's get you cleaned up a little bit. You've got dirt and bruises all over you, and you look so tired you're on the brink of fainting. Hmm. Just clean you up a little bit. The bruises, of course, will take a bit of time to heal, but... I think what you need the most right now is a nice soft bed. We happen to have some rooms prepared for trainers when the Pokemon healing process takes a little bit longer. You're welcome to use one of those. Oh, no, no. Those rooms are free of charge. Don't worry about the money. But keep this a little bit between us, okay? If everybody knew about the personalized service, they'd all be demanding it constantly. We only reserve it for those most in need. <laughs> now, here's a key. If you go through there and down the corridor, you'll find a room. 
with a soft bed and fresh sheets and a bathroom to clean yourself up. I hope you have a wonderful stay and I'm sure you and your Pokemon will leave here feeling completely rejuvenated. Thank you for coming to the Pokemon Center.